Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to draw the super cute otter using only procreate default brushes. I will guide you through all the steps and I'm sure that at the end you will be able to create a beautiful draw. These are the canvas settings and if you enjoy content like this, please consider liking and subscribing. For this sketch, let's use the HB pencil with the size 20%. Let's start drawing the head. We can draw a circle or something like an oval. Now let's draw right in the middle one line and another one here that will help us place the eyes. Add the ears. This is small detail inside the ears. And now let's draw the body. Try to replicate this shape. Let's add the tail. Also the front paws, one here and the other here. For the back paws, let's draw a circle that will be the tight and just elongate here and draw the paw. And the other one will be here. Let's create another layer and draw the sketch of the face. Using this line as a guide, let's place one eye here, almost in the middle. And the other one, this other side. Let's also draw a line here that will be the muzzle and the nose and let's also add the mouth I'm just erasing this excess and the mouth and let's also add some eyebrows here we can return to the body sketch layer and add some some fingers to our otter select both of these layers and let's spread the sketch for the canvas Just make some small adjustments, changing the position of the snout. Now, let's change its opacity. Let's reduce its opacity to something around 20%. We can create another layer. Select the studio pen brush and use the size 7%. When we click this plus button in the corner, we save the size we want. So I just saved 
and now we can start lining our otter. Don't worry if some lines end up like this, bleeding through some others, we can simply erase them. Let's also erase this part here. I will also adjust this part of the back, just make it a little bigger and adjust this part here. Let's also finish adding the back boss fingers. And now, unselect the body sketch. We can start lining the face. Create another layer. And let's line the eyes, nose and mouth. On the eyebrows, let's just make it a solid color. We will paint it with another color later. Just adjusting the position again. You can do these types of small adjustments anytime that you feel the need. Here I'm just checking the face and I'll also adjust with the liquify the size of the eyes and the position of the mouth always checking with the flip horizontal tool We will also change the shape of the face a little bit, make it somewhat more triangular. With a small forehead and bigger cheeks. We can now unselect the eye sketch layer and above it creates another layer. Let's start painting the author. This color palette you can find in the description. Let's go to the body line yard and set it to reference. 
go to the newly created layer and drop the color in the background. Now, select it, invert, create another layer and fill layer. Let this layer here. All this workaround has a meaning, <laughs> don't worry, just unselect reference. And I will show you why we did all of this. On the line art layer, if we reduce the opacity, the color is filling almost all of the area under the line art. So if you use clipping mask, the line art won't disappear. It's mainly because of this. I just noticed a small dot here. I'm just raising. Now above this base color, let's create another layer and clipping mask and grab this color. Let's add some more base colors to the author. Now just drag and drop the color to fill the selection. Let's go to Gaussian Blur and blur it a little, 3%. Select this other color, create another layer and clipping mask, and with the soft brush, add some more details, mainly on the paws. the tail and also the ears don't worry here we can erase it Let's select this color and add some more color to the cheeks. Let's select this color again and paint the nose. Also this part here inside the ear. Now let's grab this color here and paint inside the eyes. Let's paint the pupil and the iris. Let's grab this color, create another layer, and clipping mask, and draw a circle here on the eyes. And let's also erase this excess.
Let's go to Gaussian blur and blur it a little, 3%. I'll just paint this part a little bit more. And now we can grab this darker brown and draw the pupil. Just to make sure it's not looking strange, I will flip horizontal and make this side a little bit bigger. And make some adjustments with the liquify, because this eye here is smaller than the other. Now select the soft brush and create a gradient on the eyes, erase them very softly. Now all the base colors are set, select this line art layer and select this color here, click the layer, alpha lock and fill layer. Let's do the same thing with the face line art, alpha lock and fill layer. Select this color and let's paint the eyebrows. And this color here, create another layer with the studio pen brush, the size can be 3%, I will draw some whiskers. Now let's select the line art of the body and unselect alpha lock and do the same with the face line art and let's clip and mask all these layers now on the body line art layer let's use the round brush to blend some parts Let's select the face line art and here let's also blend some parts.
go to the whiskers layer and blend them too. <laughs> can start to add now the shadows and the light. Select this color, create another layer, clipping mask and multiply and reduce its opacity to 85%. Just drag and drop the color. Now select the eraser, the soft brush and let's erase some parts. Sometimes you may erase too much, so just redraw the parts that you didn't want to erase. Near the chest here, erase very softly this side of the body we want very soft lights in this upper part we can completely erase the shadows Just repaint this part here. And also change to the studio pen to paint inside the eyes. These shadows inside the eyes we can blend a little. I will just repaint here too. And let's paint some more shadows inside the ears. Let's add one more layer of shadows, clipping mask and multiply. Select this color and the studio pen. This will be some hard shadows. They are a little darker too. And let's blend just the shadows near the mouth and the chin.
we can start to paint the lights now. Create another layer clipping mask and set it to hard light. Select this color and the soft brush. These are the reflected lights. Since our otter is underwater, some lights of the water will reflect onto the otter. So let's paint in the shadow areas mostly some lights that are bouncing from the oceans to the otter. It's a very subtle color, just to see the difference with and without. Now let's I will add some more here too. And now create another layer, clipping mask, overlay. Select this color and with the soft brush, let's add some highlights here. mostly on the back of the other and the head. Create another layer, clipping mask and add, set it to 20%, select this color and let's paint some more lights. Create another layer, clipping mask, add again, and select this blue. Select the studio pen and let's add some highlights here on the eyes. On the nose and also this detail of the mouth. And let's also paint the ring light. The ring light is this part where the light is more concentrated. It ends up being very strong on the borders of the subject. Let's also blend a little the edges to make them less hard, very softly, don't need to blend too much. Now I think we can add the water on the background, so let's go to the sketch layer and create another layer above it. Select this blue and just drag it and select this other blue with the soft brush and paint here. We can blur them a little bit with the Gaussian blur. Now 
will just reselect this lighter blue and paint a bigger part of the water with it and blend a little more with the Gaussian Blur now create another layer, clipping mask and we can set it to end let's also select this color and select the oceans brush draw some water details let's blend them a little but not too much very softly we don't want to to lose these ocean waves from the brush and with the soft brush eraser erase them a little bit let's create another layer clipping mask also add select the water brush and in this upper part let's paint here and with the soft brush eraser erase the borders we can select the driven snow brush and add some more details this will be some particles and some distant bubbles let's adjust its opacity to 50% now above this layer here of the water create another layer set it to end select this color and let's paint some light rays can be very random let's reduce the opacity of the layer to 10% and with the soft brush erase the points of the rays we can change the position and the size I think I will leave it here and blend it a little bit 7% and I will adjust the opacity to 13 it's a very subtle detail now we can return to our author let's create another layer above all of them clipping mask and add 40 percent opacity select this color and the water brush and let's paint on the upper part of the water some light reflexes from the water above Blend it a little with the Gaussian Blur, 3% and let's erase very softly only the borders of these reflections I think we can increase its opacity a little bit, 50% since the otter is underwater, we need to give it some ambient light select this blue here and ah i forgot to create another layer first create another layer and clipping mask and set it to soft light and drop this blue 
we can select this other blue too and the soft brush and paint under the other and also adjust its opacity just something around 60% this is the ambient light it's this color, this light that will give the impression that our otter is underwater now let's add some bubbles let's create another layer select this color and the round brush and start drawing circles try not to do perfect circles because when the bubbles are going to the surface they don't have a perfect shape let's set this layer to end and adjust its opacity to 50% blend very softly these bubbles that we did now create another layer above and and let's select this soft brush and add some reflexes on the upper part of the bubble and one on the bottom I will just reduce the opacity of this layer add some more details and the bubbles are done let's just group them and duplicate flatten and we can now move the bubbles to whatever we want just place them in some places that you feel is nice you can also change the shape and change the format All the chains right now are completely optional we can go to the line art layer and reduce its opacity but if you don't like you don't don't need to do it it's just optional and here I'm using liquify to make some small adjustments some final adjustments we can go to the line art layer body line art layer and select this color and add some more shadows but again these are optional i like to add some shadows here on the eyebrows just just a small detail like this and also here on the eyes some more adjustments with liquify and finally that's it our cute otter is done thanks for watching i really hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and it was enjoyable to follow along if you like it, this video please leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you bye bye